Certification for Personal Financial Advisor. Why it matters as we navigate through our personal finances, it's natural to seek advice from a financial advisor. However, not all financial advisors are created equal. A certified personal financial advisor has met certain educational and professional requirements to earn their certification. In this article, We'll explore why certification for personal financial advisors is vital and how it can benefit you. We'll take a look at the different types of certification available and the requirements for obtaining them. We'll also discuss the importance of continuing education for certified personal financial advisors. By the end of this article, you'll understand why you should seek the services of a certified personal financial advisor and what to look for when selecting one. So, let's dive into the world of personal financial advisor certification and discover why it matters. What is a personal financial advisor certification? Definition and explanation A personal financial advisor certification is a professional designation that financial advisors earn by meeting certain educational and professional requirements. These requirements vary depending on the type of certification and the issuing organization. Certification programs for personal financial advisors cover a wide range of topics including financial planning, investments, taxes, and retirement planning. The curriculum is designed to equip advisors with the knowledge and skills necessary to provide sound financial advice to their clients. Benefits of obtaining a certification Obtaining a certification for personal financial advisors offers a wide range of benefits. First and foremost, it demonstrates a commitment to professionalism and ethical standards. Certification holders have demonstrated that they possess the knowledge and skills necessary to provide competent financial advice to their clients. Certification can also provide a competitive advantage in the job market. Many employers prefer to hire certified financial advisors, and some positions require certification as a prerequisite. Additionally, certification can lead to higher earnings for financial advisors. According to a study by the CFP Board, certified financial planners earn, on average, 40% more than non-certified professionals in the same field. In summary, obtaining a certification for personal financial advisors is an essential step in establishing oneself as a competent and professional financial advisor. It offers numerous benefits, including increased employability, higher earnings, and a commitment to ethical standards. Types of certification for personal financial advisors as you explore the world of personal financial advisor certification. It's essential to understand the different types of certifications available. Overview of the different types of certification available The two most common types of certification for personal financial advisors are the Certified Financial Planner, CFP, and the Chartered Financial Analyst, CFA. The CFP certification is granted by the Certified Financial Planner Board of Standards, Inc. To earn this certification, a financial advisor must pass a comprehensive exam covering financial planning, insurance, investments, taxes, retirement, and estate planning. The CFA certification is granted by the CFA Institute and requires financial advisors to pass three levels of exams covering investment management, financial analysis, and ethical and professional standards. Comparison of the requirements and benefits of each certification The CFP certification is more focused on financial planning, while the CFA certification is more focused on investment management. The CFP certification is more suitable for financial advisors who provide comprehensive financial planning services. While the CFA certification is more suitable for those who specialize in investment management, The CFP certification requires a bachelor's degree and three years of relevant work experience. The CFA certification requires a bachelor's degree and four years of relevant work experience.
Both certifications require continuing education to maintain certification. The CFP certification requires 30 hours of continuing education every two years, while the CFA certification requires 20 hours of continuing education annually. Ultimately, the type of certification that's right for you will depend on your career goals and the type of financial advisory services you provide. It's essential to research and carefully consider the requirements and benefits of each certification before making a decision.